Hi, this is John. Welcome back to Thumbcraft Quick. In this episode, I want to work on infusion stabilization. So there are some infusion recipes I'd like to try out, but their instability worries me a little bit. So I'd like to work on infusion stabilization to make sure we don't have any problems. So let's get to work on that. We're going to need a theory in Arcane Infusion, some redstone, and a file of Bishium. So here's my file and the redstone. And let's go get a theory in Arcade Infusion, which we can select for with the Runic Matrix. So let's see here. Here we go. Infusion. That's a good start. Artifice Infusion. If I had a file of Permutasio. Okay, yeah, we still have Permutasio from the dropper thing we did. So there we go. 25 more infusion there. Okay, 25 to 50 if we had. A Lunar Waxing Crescent and First Quarter. Waxing Crescent and First Quarter. Here's a First Quarter one. And here's a Waxing Crescent one. Perfect. So there we go. Alright. Spiritual Focus. Artifice or Goamancy. None of those are infusions, so we'll do Spiritual Focus. All right, infusion, yes. Waxing gibbous and lunar full. Waxing gibbous and lunar full. There we go. All right. Artifice, artifice, infusion, waning crescent and full. Waning crescent and full. Gonna be out of fulls. Gonna have to go scan the sky some more. All right, experimentation, infusion, gold, and a file of metallum. I don't know if we have any metallum. Well, let's do experimentation for now. We've got enough progress right now. Okay, let's see here. We need a V crystal for vinculum. Okay. We could do synthesis, sculpting, or we need a gas tier. No thanks. Alchemy, Instrumentum, and Modus, or Sculpting. Well, clay seems like easy to get right now. Let me go grab that. Alright, there we go. There we go. I think that's two Theories and Infusions, so that should hold us over for a while. I think that should be everything we need. Okay. So, to do Infusion Stabilization, we need to build some Redstone Inlays and some Stabilizers. Stabilizers go next to pedestals and they're connected with redstone inlay. So I've got 24 redstone inlay. I'm going to make um, eight of these stabilizers. So I think I need 24 of these inlays. Okay, let's see here. Recipe for that. All right, 21V4. Oh, you get two of them. I think I actually have double what I need. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Okay, so I won't need all of that. Now, this should be everything I need for the stabilizers. So, the stabilizers require some arcane slabs, redstone blocks, V resonators, complex arcane mechanisms, and two inlays per stabilizer, and 250 V. So, I'm not sure how much we'll be able to do of this. Three, four, five. Come on, I want eight of them. I think the V battery might have worked. If we had a bunch on the wall, this might have helped, actually helped out more. All right, there we go. There's one more. Okay, there we go. V stabilizers and redstone inlays. I still had two more than I needed. Oh yeah, because you get two of each. I forgot, I only needed eight. So, all right, that's fine. Let's go see. Oh wait, no, we, we need this. Never mind, we need this. Okay. All right, so let's go see how you place that. Basically, uh, a redstone inlay will connect a, a pedestal to a stabilizer. And so we're gonna put them in here like this for now. I'm gonna go start with eight. I might add more depending on if we need them, but um, don't know if we will or not. So basically what the stabilizers do is they help offset uh, instability in the infusion, they release it as flux in the environment, so you get more flux, but we can clean that up. 
And additionally, it will uh, take the instability and keep the infusion stable, which is just what we're looking to do for some of the more complex recipes. But you can see we're getting a lot of flux right now, uh, just keeping the altar stable. That's okay though. Again, we have ways to clean flux up. We need to make sure our infusion is stable. All right, so that's how you build and deploy your stabilizers. Uh, next time when I come back, we will build something that has some high instability and see if it helps. You can see that right now our runic matrix is very stable, which is just what we want. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.